Peter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune, and I'm with LSU columnist Ron Higgins. We just watched the LSU spring game. Uh, we should call it a scrimmage. It's really just a scrimmage. There's nothing game like about it. LSU had so many people missing that uh, it was almost like a walk on bowl out there at times. <laughs> However, um, you know, the, the LSU passing game, I think everybody's been keen on that. It finished 105th in the nation last year in yards per game. That's where everybody wants improvement. Everybody knows Leonard Fournette can run the ball and think LSU can, can run it successfully next year, but can't win a significant amount of games unless they can throw the ball, especially short. And I think um, they didn't do a whole lot that could show you that, but they also showed that uh, there wasn't anything to panic about uh, for the coming season. If they continued this uh, incremental progress on the passing game, I think uh, they should be fine. Brandon Harris made some nice throws today. Cam Cameron said he only there were only two balls he thinks Brandon should have, would, would want to have back. Um, he threw uh, nice short passes um, against uh, defensive backs, you know, some walk on defensive backs. But uh, Brent, uh, Brandon's getting some competition from Danny Etling, who had a 70-yard TD pass today. But Brandon moved the team, uh, to, had two scoring drives, only one three and out. Um, today was a day for, you know, you go back and look at it on film, and I'm sure that's what they're going to be doing on defense where they're trying to do something new. Absolutely. One point on Brandon, I thought he showed a much better touch on his passes. Mm -hmm. Especially the, the short stuff, I was really impressed. It was much better, and he, you know, the way they set up this format early on, uh, they kind of struggled because it was ones versus ones, and it mm -hmm. was quality defense. And but you know, uh, as they went on, uh, I really, Dave Aranda said, you know, he he likes his defense. He's put a base in. Mm -hmm. there's, there's he had put a, you know a whole bunch of stuff in, but he's put a base in to work with. But even with the base, you could see some things that you didn't see last year, like Dwayne Thomas. Twice today, coming off the corner and blitzing untouched. You could see that they were doing some things, even without a lot of movement, mm -hmm. that were confusing defense, confusing offense, and giving it different looks, which is exactly what Dave Aranda wants to do. He's very excited. He's excited by the fact when he came in here that Les Miles said, Listen, do what you need to do uh, to get this defense going. And he gave uh, Aranda free reign to experiment on moving people around, which is, you know, you put Devin, Devin Gotchall at nose tackle. Yeah, which was uh, trying to be a really good move because he's quick and he deals with centers, you know, bigger centers. He's quicker. All these little things are working the elements right now. And by the time the season rolls around, everything will come together. I was really, uh, I was excited to watch the defense today, even though they kept it basic, just like the offense, very basic. But you saw hints that the deficiencies that they had last year, they they're beginning to address them. Okay, and uh, like we said, this is a scrimmage, and it's uh, we're four and a half months from the season, so a lot to work on. LSU will look at film and uh, do this summer work, and uh, we'll see you back in August. Uh, for Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter. We'll see you on NOLA.com.